हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द आईआईटी जैम 2022 मैथमेटिक्स सॉल्यूशन सोल्यूशन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सम क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू द वेक्टर कैलकुलस लाइक एरिया एंड वॉल्यूम हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व देम लेट्स सी इन दिस क्वेश्चन आर देयर सो बेसिकली योर टारगेट इज टू फाइंड द मैपिंग आर देयर योर टारगेट इज टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ दिस मैपिंग दैट इज डबल इंटीग्रेशन सो इफ आई कॉल दिस एज ए यू दिस एज ऑफ वी देन योर बेसिक टारगेट इज टू फाइंड ऑफ दिस वैल्यूज How you can solve them? You can simply change them over this Jacobian of ds of dt because you have the limits of the s and t. Mean if you have this value that is of here, this is a here. Your target is to convert this limit, this area over the u and v. If I call this a u and v over here, what is the area of this answer? So you all know that what is the area of this? This is a rectangle, so area is my one. So transform is there. How you can find the Jacobian? This is all of you know that you can if I u and v are there, so you can differentiate this with respect to s and t. You will get the Jacobians are there. So what is the derivative of u with respect to the s? So you can see this is nothing but pi by two of one minus t. This is minus pi by two s. This is minus pi by two, and this is my zero. So what is the Jacobian is minus pi square by four of s. So you can substitute here. This is my nothing but pi square by four. S d s d t. Now, how you can take the limits of the s and t? You have taken from here. This is the limit of the t, zero to one. S is again zero to one. So you can here. So pi square by four is outside. This is one by two. Right answer is pi square by eight. Look at the another one is there. So you have two target is to find the volume. So that is a d z d y d x. And limits are given to you. So you can take the limits as Here, firstly, so what is that? This is nothing but x square minus y square dx dy. Now, how you can take them? Since this is the limits taken from here, you can take the limits either as from zero to one minus x square, and then zero to one, and then integrate. But whenever there is a circle is given to you, you have to convert them into the polar coordinates for the easy calculation. So x cos theta, y is nothing but y r sin theta. So what is that? Dx dy is nothing but my Jacobian of dr d theta, which is all of us knows that Jacobian is my here. So you can substitute the value. What is that? This is r square cos square minus r square sin square. This is r cos of 2 theta. This is r dr of d theta. Limits are my 0 to 2 pi and 0 to 1. So this is the r cube. So if you firstly integrate with respect to r cube, so uh, here. So this is my sine of this from zero to two pi. So what is that? This is a sine of four pi. Sine of four pi is zero. Cos of sine of zero is zero, so it will be zero. So the answer is my zero is the right answer. Look at the another one is there. Again, uh, this is the area. So that's again you what you can do is you simply write this upon pi. Since it is a x or y, so these are the circle. You can convert them into the polar form again. So it I can written as r square cos square theta and r dr d theta. What are the limits? R is from zero to one. What are the angles are there? If you draw the graph of this picture, this is my here. This is the first line y is equal to one by root three x, and this is my second line y is equal to root three x. So what is that? Your target is to find the area in between them. So what is the angle of this? Can you find the angle of this? If you compare them as a slope, so angle is my 30 degree. Here angle is my 60 degree. So you can write this value as of pi by 6 to pi by 3. So you can write like this way. So this is the r cube. Integration of the r cube is my 1 by 4 with respect to r. How you can integrate with respect to cos square is? You can integrate this cos square as of like this. So now you can integrate them. One by two is outside plus sine of two theta upon two from zero from pi by six to pi by three. So you can substitute here. One by two is outside. Pi by three minus pi by six is again pi by six plus sine of two pi by three minus sine of two pi by six. That is a pi by three. Divided by two, and what is that? This is nothing but my 120 degree. This is nothing but my 60 degree. Sine 120, sine one, sine 60 are the same, so it will be cancel out. So what is that? This is only pi by six. 
now you can cancel out this is a 50 this will be my 25 so 25 pi will be cancelled out so answer is my 25 by 6 is the right answer you can round them to the four, uh, two decimal places look at the another one is how you can find that determinant of this so the one way is you can write that determinant as 11 and then find of this and other are there but there is another way that's how you can do that I ca can I write 11 in terms of the 10 yes you can write as a 10 plus 1 this is 10 plus 1 and so on so I can write this here as of 4 times 10 in the first row I can write this as 4 times in the first row so m will be my 10 10 10 and 10 similarly for here all are my 10 values are there now what is the remaining part is plus of i now your target is to find the determinant of this how you can find the determinant if i find the eigen value of this m then the product of this eigen value is my determinants so what are the eigen value of this problem of this matrix 0 0 0 and 40 because the sum trace is by 40 are there what are eigen value of this are there 1 1 and 1 so what are the eigen values of this you can add them so that is a 1 1 1 and 41 so what is that determinant of the matrix is nothing but my product of the eigen value so what is the product of these eigen values are there that is 1 1 1 and 41 that is the right answer is my 41 is the correct answer of this problem look at the another problem is there how you can solve this problem your target is to find f g and here so it means firstly your target is to find the values of the f of x and the g of x are there how you can do that let's see firstly here this is the integration with respect to t so you can integrate them so it will be my t q by 3 over the limit 0 to here now you can substitute the values are there so this is my g x cube this will be my 27 so you can write like here so it means the value of this is my 2 so this is a 3 plus 3 is 9 how you can find the values of the f from here now this is the function it's a function is not given so it means you have to differentiate this with respect to the x are there firstly so by using the rules are there so you can integrate this x square into the derivative of this limit that is my 3x square plus of 2x minus you can substitute the lower limit f of 0 and the derivative of 0 is my here what is the derivative of the x square is my this can you find the value of this part from this what is that this is this is my 0 upon 3x square plus of 2x so 0 will be x will be cancelled out 3x of 2 now what is the f of 2 so for what value of the x you can substitute this becomes a 2 you can see that when x is 1 this becomes a 2 so what is the right answer of this that is my 2 upon 2 upon 5 plus 9 plus for what value of the x you can choose so that it becomes a 12 so you can see x is my 2 8 plus 4 so you can substitute here 2 so it will be my 16 2 upon 6 plus 2 is my 8 so what is the right answer of this 2 by 5 plus 9 this will be my 2 that's a 4 so 9 13 point 4 is the right answer of this problem so you can see the right answer of this size here so this is the way you can solve these uh, problems are here we will see some more questions related to the linear algebra real analysis in our next video till then you can simply follow like and share with these other students thank you very much